In this video, you'll learn about two online search building blocks, keywords and concept charts. Keywords describe the main ideas of a search. Sometimes the first keywords we think of are not the only possibilities. We use concept charts to gather and organize additional keywords. Concept charts make searches more coherent and comprehensive. Here's an example using a research question. Naya is taking an environmental science course. She has to write an essay based on the research question, what is the effect of climate change on wildlife in the Canadian Rockies? She notes there are three main keywords in this research question. Climate change, wildlife, Canadian Rockies. These words reflect the main concepts Naya will use in her search. Now Naya is ready to conduct her search, combining all these concepts. She searches for climate change and wildlife and Canadian Rockies. Naya puts quotation marks around climate change and Canadian Rockies to keep those words in the quotes together as a phrase. Naya gets 127 results. Naya thinks about this search. She established her main keywords, but she wonders if she found all the relevant results. She begins to think of other words that express a similar meaning or reflect the same concept. Other ways of saying climate change are global warming, greenhouse gas effect. Other ways of saying wildlife are mammal, animal, bird. Other ways of saying Canadian Rockies are Rocky Mountains, the Rockies. Naya adds these new keywords to her concept chart. Naya places an asterisk at the end of words that could have alternate endings. For example, now her search will capture mammal, mammals, mammalian. Now Naya is ready to conduct her expanded search by using additional keywords and combining the concepts. Here is Naya's new search. This time Naya gets 279 results, many more than she got in her first search. Here are some bonus tips for generating those keywords and combining concepts. Tip 1. Phrase searching. Phrase searching places quotation marks around two or more words. This keeps the words together in a set order and searches them as a single phrase. Like this. Tip 2. A truncation symbol completes and searches a word in any possible way. A truncation symbol is often an asterisk, like this. Tip 3. Nesting keywords in brackets. Nesting keywords in brackets and using the Boolean operator OR searches multiple terms from one concept, like this. Keywords and concept charts make searches more coherent and comprehensive by establishing the main ideas of a topic, and including keywords with similar meanings. 